There's a reason. The reason I have this button on my soundboard. It's the sound of a strike, of a ball hitting the head pin, sending the rest of the pins flying. Oh, it's a beautiful sound. It always surprises and it always delights. Last night, NVIDIA bowled a strike. And today, stocks of all kinds careened and skidded and vibrated and rocked in a symphony of glorious sound. They sent the averages soaring with the Dow jumping 462 points, as it began 0.53%, and the NASDAQ advancing 0.03%. NVIDIA's been duking it out with Apple and Microsoft in the lanes, fighting over who gets to be the largest company on Earth. Right now, it's head-to-head with Apple. $3.5 trillion for NVIDIA versus $3.45 trillion Apple. Yes, that's right, nosing out Apple as the champ. Microsoft has suddenly fallen way behind. The leaderboard drops off even bigger than what? Whoa, make no mistake about it. NVIDIA's strike last night is opening some distance between it and the rest of the field. Ah, oh, the numbers are staggering for a company... Just a, a few of you have even heard of, say, recently is two years ago when it, its market cap was just $500 billion. NVIDIA booked $35 billion in revenues last quarter with a net income of $20 billion, 75% gross margins. Those numbers are preposterously great, preposterously. Just a spectacular ramp up. Now, a year ago, so many critics were claiming NVIDIA was absurdly expensive, trading at 50 times forward earnings. People laughed at me for championing this seemingly overvalued semiconductor stock. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.